What's up everybody, Redneck Rebel here once again. Alright, so currently I am in what's right now the guest bedroom and soon to be the office. Um, I'm trying not to talk too loud. I don't want the echo of this room being pretty close to empty ringing out through the camera. So uh, I'm just going to go ahead and explain this. Um, I'm a little late because I didn't want to film this whole entire process. I don't really feel like it's needed, but I'm going to show you a little bit of what I've done so far. And uh, I'm going to walk you guys to the more interesting part. So I have been redoing my uh, ranch and brush guard on the front of my Dodge. And uh, I've been sanding it down, getting all the rusted spots and where the paint's chipping away out. And I've got it pretty well cleaned. So today I think we're going to go ahead and do the painting tonight, so hopefully it'll be dry in the morning. So let's get started. Alrighty, <clears throat> so today we are starting on the, or well we're finishing up really on the rebuild process of this brush guard. I didn't really show y'all as much as I had originally planned on it, but uh, I didn't really feel, didn't really feel like it was needed. For y'all to have like okay so i didn't i didn't think you guys needed to have to sit there and watch every bit of the sanding that had to go down on this because if you guys have ever had one of these ranch hand bumpers man they're solid as a rock but they are on the front of a truck and if yours is kind of older like mine they got rusted pretty quickly now the metal underneath it's still good. It's just the paint was peeling over the top. So I had to take it, my uh, sander and sand it all down and where there's rust spots and get it down to surface. That way it's a smooth surface. Whenever I go out of paint over it, it won't leave how much bull crap, you know, the junk everywhere. Now, uh, one thing I am gonna do is pop my hood because I'm gonna try to keep most amount of surface area that doesn't need to be sprayed on accidentally away from being sprayed on is my grill I don't want it to be sprayed on I really don't care if the radiator gets sprayed on but I mean I, I've got I've got a decent idea for that but um I mean this is by no means gonna be professional I'm, I'm gonna buy a different bumper here pretty soon but I want it to look good until then so uh, what I ended up going with for my choice to paint my bumper, <coughs> I ended up going with a um, <coughs> Rust-Oleum automotive enamel, <laughs> enamel, can't talk today, gloss black, and uh, I've got three cans, I think, if I can't get it done with three cans, then I think I'm obviously doing something wrong. I hope I can. So I will be using the three cans there to spray this. Hopefully it all comes out well and I'm really not too bothered by it. It looks a little bit better than what it was as well as um, it won't rust as easy being the fact that it is the rust only. So uh, I also got a piece of cardboard because I'm lazy. There's a lot of work that already needs to be done to this truck so I'm not taking the time out to mask everything off. Now I'm probably going to really regret that considering the fact it is really really windy out here. I'm sure you can see by the trees that behind me. But I'm going for it anyways because I really don't care. I'm really not too bothered by it. So <clears throat> we're going to go ahead and pack us a dip before we get started and we'll get started and I'll, I'll probably stop in with y'all occasionally and give you guys some updates. Today I don't care what you guys think, but they've been cupping egg and water green. So, uh, I guess let's get started on this.
Alright, so I'm tired of spray painting already. The neighbors are lighting off fireworks already, but uh, <clears throat> so far, so good. It's it looks good so far. Um, that's that's the verse coat. I'm not through the first can even yet, so I really don't think I'm gonna use it all. But um, so far everything looks good. I'm gonna go ahead and give it some time to dry, and uh, once everything gets good and dried off, I'll lay another coat, and then another, another until I feel like every I got everything looking good. Um. So whenever I get that all finished up, I'll show you then. But for now, I think I'm gonna go ahead and just not do any more uh, time lapses or anything like that because there's a lot of recording. So I'll show you all here in a bit. Alrighty, so I did go ahead and get her knocked out. Um, now, before y'all go hating on me for what, oh, what else I did, I am um, gonna give you my reasoning behind it. Because a lot of people think it's just a cheap way to make your truck look like it's something it's not. Um, well, I personally use rust an animal or an ana, enamel. Sorry, still can't speak. But uh, I use it on pretty much everything underneath my truck, and basically anything that's rusting, because by doing so, it won't proceed to rust. And uh, it's really, truly how you save a lot of money and a lot of pain by just going ahead and spraying stuff that you can get to. It really just, it'll one, it brightens up your truck. It makes it look newer, makes it look better, but it does save you from having rust holes and stuff like that um, for the most part. It does allow, I mean, if there's still water snow salt ice whatever it is getting up there and on there it still will have issues but this here prevents helps prevent the normal rusting with age so i went ahead and did my rims because they were bad i'm sure you guys seen them in videos my rims are pretty bad so i went ahead and sanded them down and painted them black um i don't i don't really care for the black i really want to go chrome so, I mean, I'm probably going to be changing them out anyways, but I did go ahead and do it. As well as I did the frames, uh, the frame that I could get to. And uh, did a couple more coats over top of the brush guard. And uh, all in all, I think it looks so much better. So I'm going to go ahead and walk you around and show you guys what I've done so far. Alright. So, right off the back, I'm sure you guys can tell the difference because I know I sure can. I think it looks completely better, like a hundred times better. It's so, so much cleaner this way. Everything's the same color. I mean, I just think it came out phenomenal. Brand new again. Now, once I get that grill, it'll be looking a whole lot better, but I think it's a whole lot nicer than what it was. So, happy with that one. Now, um, rims, I'm sure you guys don't really care to see that, but I think it's a whole lot better than what it did look like. Uh, rim, or underneath there, I did my rails and my leaf springs. Did the front as well. Now it's pretty dark, so you're not really going to be able to see it, but I think it looks a hundred times better. Then just having everything rusted out. And they're not rusted out, but you know, rusted, rust coated. Yeah, loads better. Um, also, I guess while I'm here, this wasn't here last time, I did pick up me a uh, little toolbox. I've got it welded down. Um, I tack welded on there. I'll, but then I'll come back with a grinder, smooth it out, but she ain't going nowhere. But that allows me to throw my stuff in there. I don't think it looks too bad on there. Next project though is I've got to go around the bed here, clean it up, 
and uh, do everything on it, sand it down, and get it ready for paint, new lights. I think I've, never mind, it's in the toolbox, I don't feel like going and getting the keys, but uh, I do have a light that I'm thinking I bought one, just to see what I like, or how I like it, but uh, it'll replace all these, it's the same style, it's um just one solid beam all across with little LEDs around it. So I think that'll look a whole lot better, but I need to do some work with the bed, get it looking better. I need to mount this plate where the welder was. Um, hydro boost is coming here pretty soon. After the hydro boost, we'll have carpet and the goat screamed. But after that, we'll have carpet and after the carpet, we'll have I'm thinking window and then mirrors. So, I mean, we'll have a lot of stuff coming. So, just hopefully you guys have enjoyed this so far. If so, though, make sure you like, subscribe, and uh, if you have anything you want to see me do or see me try out, please leave a comment below. And uh, hope you all have enjoyed. So, y'all always remember to pack big and spit good.